Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. Well, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect for our southern counties. Starts this evening, goes through the day tomorrow. That's why Threat Tracker is in the red. However, by Friday, finally dry, partly cloudy, and temperatures start to warm up once again. Winter weather advisory for Keokuk in Washington County starts tonight at 9 p.m., goes until 6 p.m. tomorrow. And that's where we're expecting the freezing rain and some of the heavier snow amounts. However, our southeastern counties do have a chance of still seeing a little bit of wintry mix. Low pressure brought a warm front through our area overnight. That's what allowed us to be in the 40s to kick off our Wednesday. However, now we're watching this cold front that'll move through eastern Iowa, drop our temperatures and be the focal point for some precipitation, starting as rain, ending as a wintry mix. A nice, warming, warm, nice warm morning thus far, 45 in Des Moines, 58 in Kansas City, but colder as we approach northward. It's 20 right now in Duluth and just 12 in Fargo. Morning commute, not, not in bad shape at all. We're just dealing with cloud cover and warm temperatures. After the lunch hour, we'll start to see some light rain pushing into our eastern and southeastern counties. This will be mainly in the form of drizzle or an isolated spotty shower. Notice it's not to the north or west. We're just too dry and that'll stay that way throughout this event. By 8 o'clock, temperatures fall. We're in the 20s now, so that northern periphery of our precipitation will change over to a wintry mix. Rain still continuing south. However, notice all of the precipitation will change over to that wintry mix overnight. Embedded in that wintry mix is some freezing rain. This could coat some of those roadways in Iowa City on southward with some ice. So definitely could create some hazardous travel for the Thursday morning commute, although precipitation will be done. But we're not done just yet. By 8 a.m., light snow starts to push into our southern counties. Again, southeastern counties have the best chance at seeing the snow. It's not really making it too far northward just because of the storm track as well as dry air once again. Snow moves out after the evening commute, so we could see some slick spots on the roads heading home from work on Thursday. Then it wraps up Thursday evening. On the snow front, we could see about a trace to an inch Cedar Rapids southward, but Iowa City towards Washington and Sigourney could see anywhere between an inch to three inches. For ice, could see up to a tenth of an inch, especially for Washington and Sigourney. Can't rule out our far southeastern edge of our viewing area. But if you do have to travel eastward, some of the greater concerns for heavier snowfall and more ice are just east and southeast of our viewing area. Today's highs, well, we've already reached them. They'll fall throughout the day in terms of temperatures. We'll start with rain in the afternoon in our southeastern counties. Then it'll change over to a wintry mix. Temperatures continue to fall overnight as we're in the single digits and teens. Wintry mix does end early Thursday morning. City by city forecast, Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. We're colder tomorrow, but back near 40 by Friday. Dry through the weekend, another warm day on Sunday. And it looks like we have a couple more chances for winter precipitation come next work week.